Welcome again today in another video for my Project Live Catch Up Friday video series. So for today, I've got week 37 for you actually. Um, it looks like it's going to be week 35, but it's actually week 37. I had to go and change the number afterwards um, because I didn't realize it was actually week 37. So, um, but, um, so I've just used the um, Surya Kaiko's uh, puffy stickers and this one is the the black one um so i got these from the sukaiko's website and then i'm also going to be stamping the dates using my roller date stamp and so this one is actually from becky higgins project live one and i'm using the stace on jet black ink to stamp uh, the dates onto that photo here. So essentially it's a photo of a teacup and I just stuck down those puffy stickers in the middle um, to represent the week and then the dates just around it. And one thing, another thing to know is that I'm going to be mainly using the Sukaiko kit, documenter kit from April 2015 and this one is called List Street. And the next thing you see we're doing here is um, I'm also working using these um, Becky Higgins Project Lives core kit and this one is from currently so I recently purchased this kit from Spotlight which is I guess similar to Michael's or Joanne's for some of you who live in the US and um, I you know I bought them when it was the kit was really really cheap it was, I think it was like $10 or something and I got like a whole bunch of cards and I thought um, I really like how neutral the um, the kit is so I decided to just get I got that that kit and then I'm using that card that's actually from the kit and then stuck down a washi piece of washi tape which is from my stash and the next thing you see me doing here is um, just sticking down um, these I guess I think it looks like a washi it's like a sticker from the kit but it's actually it has a similar material to washi tape so it's slightly translucent so I decided to stack it down onto these kind of a reddish colored cards a uh, cut uh, three or four card which I've got in my stash but I'm probably not going to use so I just I um, stuck it down and um, cut it up using cut it up and then using my puffy um not puffy um foam dots to pop that up and the next thing you see me doing here is I'm just um, and some journaling using um, onto this three by four um, card, which is from the from the kit. And as you can see here, the actual card itself looks like it's been designed by Ali Woods. It has very similar to Ali, very Ali Woods style. And I think she might be a guest designer for this kit. That might be why. Um, and the next thing you see me doing here is I'm just I want to add some journaling, and I but I feel like adding it directly onto the photo would probably be a bit too messy, mainly because there's not enough white space there. There's some white space, but because I'm, I want to use a black um, black pen, so it's probably going to be hard to see at certain points. So I decided to just add a piece of white cardstock. And I decorated that using this piece of washi tape, which is from the um, from the document this, from this Project Life kit from Studio Calico. And I just added a kind of put it off, stuck it off to the side, just because um, the washi tape itself is actually quite wide, and I don't need it to be that wide. And I'm also sticking down these um, the chipboard piece which is from the kit as well. And I'm cutting, I stuck it off to the side and I'm cut off the, ex, the excess. Um, I was actually using my kind of um, Fiskars fine point scissors um, initially, but I decided to use a different pair of scissors, which are from Tim Holtz, and those are kind of a more heavy duty one. Um, now the next thing I'm going to be doing is um, I want to decorate this photo down at the bottom left here but I feel like there's not enough kind of space so I want to add something that is I guess translucent so that the tag or whatever label it is I'm going to be using doesn't cover the photo like I can still see behind it. So I decided to use this piece of vellum and um, just cutting up a strip 
and I'm adding that directly onto the photo there. I'm going to be actually adding that using my um, tiny attacher, mainly because it's actually, you know, if you just use normal adhesive, sometimes you can actually see through it. And But the aim of it, um, of adding this vellum is so that um, it doesn't cover the, I guess, the detail of that photo as much as I can still see through it. And so I also drew a border around that um, that strip as well. I'm also going to be adding a, I guess, some embellishment. And I decided to use this kind of white plastic star, which came in a Sukai Koke. To be honest, I can't remember which one it was, to be honest. Um, and also going to be adding some journaling using my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point pen. And now I am going to put all the photos in and then adding some journaling onto this card that I prepared earlier. So as I mentioned before, this card is actually made up of a just a white card stuff as well as this um, journaling card, 304 journaling card, which is from the currently core kit, Becky Higgins' currently core kit. And um, it's, it's quite a nice one to be honest. Um, I wasn't planning... Uh, on getting one but um, I saw it was on sale and I thought you know I can make a good, you know I can use that so and the next thing you see me doing here is I'm just gonna add a label um, which I have printed out using a you know printed out using just my normal printer and then my silhouette to cut that up and the file itself is actually from Studio Calico I actually bought this one, I believe I actually bought it from their website when it was 50% off and because I've been a one of their, I've been a subscriber for a long time, um, you get another 30% off or something and it ended up being like 70 cents so it was a really good deal. Um, the next thing you see me doing here is just adding um, some alphabet stickers and this one are from Dear Lizzie. Um, there are white and gold, so gold letters and white background. And I essentially spelled out the word MRT, which is um, the name of the place we're at. And also adding this kind of um, pink star sticker, which is from um, a Studio Calico kit. Now the next thing you see me doing here is I'm just adding uh, some stamp. I'm just doing some stamping directly onto this photo here using my Stace On ink and the colour itself is actually called Blazing Red. For some of you who um, who use the photo paper from um, the Selfie Canon photo paper you know that it's, the Stace On is really uh, you know probably one of the best ink um, to use stamping directly onto a photo. Um, I have tried the Memento Lux ink. It doesn't work as well, to be honest. Um, I think there are other companies as well, which I'm probably going to try a couple more um, in the near future. Um, but the Stay Signs are probably the best, in my opinion. And I'm also stamping down this um, word, which I think it's actually says breakfast, actually. Um, and that Royal Day Sam is actually from Asia Calico kit. I'm also stuck down that wooden star on top using my glossy accent there. And I'm just leaving it out, waiting for that to dry. The stay sign is pretty easy to dry, but um, I just want to make sure that, you know, better safe than sorry. So, <laughs> and the next thing you see me doing here is I'm just using this journaling card, which is actually. Um, I think it's from the Magic Story Kit. It's actually from the back of, um, it's at the, it's actually a back of the another of the card that I previous I used in another week and the, the other side of that week. Um, uh, and then I'm just adding my journaling. As you can see there, I'm using two pens, um, one which is number zero three and one which is number zero eight. Just to add interest, to be honest, um, I like how there's some the some words are a bit thicker than the other, and the word phrase sticker on top is actually from the Heart Story Kit. And now I am going to be kind of sticking down a adding some journaling space, I guess, from onto this 
photo there. And I'm, also, I'm actually going to be using this, I think this journaling spot, which is from American Crafts. And I think it's actually called Details and Notepads Number 4. So I got these from um, Studio Kaiko website. And I'm actually just trimming that off and also using a a hole punch to just punch a, a half semicircle of the pattern area there just to add interest to be honest um, it would have been fine without that hole punch as well and now I am going to be I'm looking through a bunch of word phrase stickers I want to add some journaling directly onto that photo um, I can see there's some white space underneath at the bottom of that photo so I just want to add a couple of stickers and they say what do they say um, they say note yes 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 so <laughs> it's essentially just kind of a you know happy words happy phrases and you know, those kind of things that I'm kind of going for to be honest um, and then I'm just adding some journal directly onto that photo using my Sharpie pen. Um, and those word phrase stickers are actually from Alia Word Story kits. And I think one of them is actually um, from the, um, from the, was it the crab one? Um, let me have a look. Um, so one is from the magic and I think the other one is from the craft one and now I'm just choosing um, my journal card actually I decided to work on this photo first <laughs> and um, that starburst kind of sticker is actually from the first story kit I of its first story kit so that was actually the first time we went to that restaurant so I decided to just kind of add something quite simple and then um, doing my journaling onto this 3x4 card instead of directly onto that photo. And now I'm essentially, I'm essentially just modifying the 3x4 um, the journaling card which is from the currently um, kit. And so I use a kind of a plain card sock stuck directly onto that um, printed one which is kind of a pink and white um, pattern there and then I'm just going to be adding a kind of some prompt onto um, that card and this stamp is actually from the I think from the old and black and white sorry black and white story stamp and I'm actually stamping that using my Versamark um, ink and then also these embossing powder from Ranger and it's called Liquid Platinum. Um, to be honest, this, I reckon this is my current favourite um, embossing powder at the moment. It's not gold, it's not silver, it's a kind of champagne colour. So it's, um, it's, it's actually quite nice. And as you can see there, um, the heat kind of warped the paper a little bit so the glue didn't stick down as well. Well, kind of open up the 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 connection there so I just add a little bit more glue um, underneath that and the next thing to be doing here is just add some journaling onto this card um, using my project live um, precision well, it's as project live pen um, and but it's actually the same as the American crafts um, precision pen number zero three. And I essentially talked about the food that we had and um, went to a new restaurant so and it was great. We talked about I talked about what I ate and essentially talked about the photo that's directly above it. And now I'm working on this um, photo here, which is us on the train. And so I can see kind of the journaling area that's in the middle there that that pink, that yellow area and I decided to use this um, stamp which is from the wild wow story stamp and I gonna be I'm gonna be stamping directly on the photo first as you can see there I'm just gonna use a natural kind of curve of that window um, but I managed to smudge that 
um, stamped area so I decided to just kind of just cover it up that's all good and it's just stand directly onto a white cardstock and I'll just be cutting that up and then um, uh, cutting cutting that up and then cover the um, stamp spot there and I think that's a you know that's an easy way you know if you if you like stamping on a photo sometimes it there's you know there's you're gonna smudge it and but that's okay because you can cover it up no one ever know <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use some foam dots to stick directly and to kind of pop that phrase up a little bit and then I'm just gonna be doing some my journaling directly onto that photo there onto I guess that yellow space and also when I do my journaling it's also off on an angle as well even though at the bottom it's not as angular as as, um, as it probably should have been to be honest what I would have liked it to be but that's all good um, the next thing I'm doing here is I want to add some journaling onto this photo um, and I can see the spot that I want to add some journaling on which is um, that on the Kind of my partner's chair the back of his chair there and also stuck down this um chipboard sticker which says life is made of moments and i believe this one is actually from the click story kit and did my journey directly onto the photo there and that is essentially it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video please give a thumbs up so i know that you enjoyed it and if you want YouTube to let you know when my next video comes out, please subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!